Together, the UK's gardens are larger than all our national nature reserves combined. And, whether big or small, gardens can be full of magic. They can be home to all sorts of wildlife and can hold the secret wonders of nature. So how can you help to look after your garden for wildlife this autumn? I'm here in the gardens of Banavallum House, home to Lincolnshire Wildlife Trust, to see what secrets it holds. A wonderland of mini beasts and fungi. Our gardens have so much going on that we don't always notice at first glance. Beneath us, worms are working hard, whilst above us, pollinators buzz and birds fly. One thing you could do this autumn is plant spring flowering bulbs, so that when pollinators, such as bees, emerge in February and March as the weather warms, they can find that all-important first drink of nectar to build up their much-needed stores of energy. You don't even need a garden to plant spring bulbs. You can do this in a pot. seed heads and plants that have ended for the season instead of cutting them back. Provide log or stick piles. These structures provide valuable shelter for marvellous mini beasts during the colder winter months. You could also leave food out for our feathered friends both in the trees and on the ground. Although they are able to forage for food the winter months mean there is less available so they benefit from the high energy food you can provide. Plus there's nothing quite like watching birds from your window. Remember also to top up bird baths after an icy night, so that even on the coldest days wildlife can find a drink. Some animals, such as hedgehogs, hibernate over winter, so you could even make your own hedgehog home with the instructions on our website. We hope you enjoy creating your own secret garden for wildlife this autumn. And don't forget to take a moment to watch nature working its magic. Thank you.